This week's portion, Re'e, begins with what is called theodicy, how we understand evil in the world and how we make sense of it. God begins the portion by saying to Moses, Behold, I give you a blessing and a curse. If you follow in my ways, God says, then you, the people of Israel, will receive blessings. If you neglect and trespass my ways, then I will give you curses, God says. This is the traditional understanding in the, in the Bible and later by the rabbis of how good and evil are found in the world and how we experience them in our lives. If we do good, then we will experience blessing. If we do bad, then we will experience hardship and suffering. Now, of course, we in our own lives understand that that's not the way it always works. In fact, there are many times then that just by chance good things happen to us. And there are many times that just by chance, no matter what we do, hardship and suffering come to us as well. And so I am forced, as a reader of this Torah portion and seeing the religious value in a text, to interpret the opening sentences of the portion in a different way. Instead of God giving us the blessings and the curses based on our actions, I understand, re'e, I, behold, see, natati lifnechem bracha uklala, I have given you blessing and curse. I see that in a more global, universal way. The world around us has been given blessings and curses. The world around us has been created with good and evil in it. It is up to us to try to do our best to tend towards the good in the world and to always find the good in the world and to try to stay away from the evil and the bad in the world. The more we tend towards good, the more then we will perceive good in the world and the more good we will experience in our lives. This is not a foolproof way of living our lives, but it presents us with a, an appropriate attitude and perspective to have, and it provides us with the responsibility and obligation of how we are to lead our lives. The onus is mainly on us, and if we tend towards good, then we will see good, and we will see it as if God has given us good in the world. Shabbat Shalom.